What's up, Internet? Current 1776 here with, yes, another Battle Box mission video for you. I got mission 91 right here for September 2022. The last quarter of the year is here, my favorite quarter of the year, because that means hunting season's here, you know, duck season's here, holidays are, are coming up. I, I, just, I just love this time of year. I am in southern Georgia, so the temperature probably ain't going to drop a whole lot until, like, January, but I can see it. It's close. I hope. Hopefully we have a good winter this year. It was hot as crap all the way into January last year. <laughs> I want to clarify something for you guys before we go any further. So the last two missions, I was doing a, a giveaway to, to, to give away a new Pro Plus of, of the mission that I was currently showing on the video. Please follow the directions of winning the box, okay? I will not comment on your comment. I will not ask you for money or ask you to pay for shipping or anything like that. Look, there's freaking punks on the internet, okay? And they're trying to take advantage of people and they're trying to take advantage, you know, giveaways and stuff like that by posting, you know, that somebody won and then they try to get all this info. Listen to the instructions, okay? I'm going to do it again for this box, okay? If you want to know who won last month's box, go to last month's video on the Battle Box YouTube channel. Very first comment, I'm going to pin my comment of who won, okay? And then we're going to take the steps to get in touch with that person. Again, I will not comment on your comment telling you that you won. I will not ask for money. I will not ask for you to pay for shipping. I will not ask for any information from you off your comment. I will make a new comment. I will pin it to the top of the comment section and it will be Battle Box's comment, my comment, congratulations to such, such and such. And, and then we'll contact you and, and get, it, get it sent to you. It's not gonna cost you a penny, okay? So if you see or somebody posted on there or commented on there, hey, congratulations, you won, blah, 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 blah. No. If it's not the pinned comment at the top by me, it's not real, okay? Please don't fall for that crap. I mean, come on. Now that I got the Benna stuff out of the way, and uh, congratulations to last month's winner, your name is pinned at the top of the comments in a comment by me, yeehaw. So let's break in to mission 91. A battle box. Okie dokie. Really cool box this month. Gets me ready for fall. Hopefully it'll get you ready for fall as well. As always, we've got the mission brief right here. Front page has a little paragraph from yours truly. The survival 13 key down at the bottom. And we're going to jump straight in to the basic box. First up in the basic box, we've got from Peak Refuel, a titanium spork, titanium super light spork, but this isn't just some normal spork. I know for me, when I'm going camping and things like that, I usually pack a couple freeze dried meals with me because they're quick and easy to eat. Just boil some water, pour it in there and let it sit for 10 minutes or whatever the directions say, you can eat straight out of the pouch. And there's a lot of really good freeze dried meals or backpacker type of meals out there. But there's kind of a pain point when eating from the package. This solves that. This titanium spork right here from Peak Refuel is long enough to get to the bottom of that package without you getting your hand all in it and having to use a real short fork or, or spoon. You got both here with the spork, but it is a long handle on here. So you can get all the way down and get down to the good bits down in the bottom without having to cut your bag to make the bag shorter. Game changer. And it's a small, simple thing that makes life so much easier. Something just fell on the roof of my shelter here. So much easier. I hate getting my hand dirty from reaching down in the bag, having to cut my bag open, yada, yada, yada. This right here, yeehaw. Especially if you have to cut your bag open and it's like a two serving pack and you want to save a little bit for later. Now you've cut it. Now you can't seal it up as easily, right? If it's got a um, Ziploc type seal on the top. So this is your titanium spork. Take a real quick overhead look at it here. Really lightweight. I mean, it's, it's like a piece of paper. The way they have it stamped out here is very rigid, so you don't really have to worry about it bending or anything like that. Great spork to have, especially 
if you are eating freeze-dried meals out of the packaging. And it comes with the little, little uh, pouch here you can keep it in after you clean it. Yeehaw. So that's your first item in the basic box. So speaking of peak refuel and us giving you a sport, well, we got to give you one of my favorite meals in a bag. It's also from Peak Refuel. It's the sauce, it's the biscuits and sausage gravy. Two servings of it. This stuff right here is freaking delicious. Delicious. Just take a quick look at it here. Premium freeze dried biscuits and sausage gravy. Buttermilk biscuits, cooked sausage, crumbles, peppered country style gravy. It's really good. Two serving pack, 570 calories per serving, 18 grams of protein per serving, vitamin D, calcium, iron, potassium, the whole nine. A great meal. One thing I will tell you to do with this is um, it says you need to put about 10.5 ounces of water in here, boiling water in here. Don't go over that. I kind of go like 10 ounces. Sometimes I've gone over and it's a little runny. You want your gravy to be a little bit thicker, right? So about 10 ounces is kind of my sweet spot. Play with it yourself, kind of kind of see what you, what you like, but I don't like my gravy to be extremely runny. But man, this stuff is, I mean, it's, it's actually got real, like it's not just little biscuit flakes or biscuit crumbles like some sausage gravy packs are from other companies. This actual biscuit. Like there's a couple of them in there. It's freaking awesome. Peak Refuel makes a ton of different types of meals. And so far, I haven't had any that I didn't like. And that's kind of hard to say because a lot of the other companies I've tried, I mean, each company has kind of their flagships or the ones that are really, really good. And some that are just horrible. I haven't had all of Peak Refuel stuff yet, but so far I like all their stuff. It's really, really good. Um, compared to other companies and 34 grams of protein if you eat the whole thing that's really good biscuits sauces and gravy from peak refuel so you can use your titanium sport right out of the gate is your second item in the basic box check those guys out awesome awesome and every man i'm telling you there ain't nothing better than some biscuits and sauces and gravy when you get out of your tent in the morning or out of your hammock or whatever it is you're camping in freaking great. So the third item in the basic box is actually a product that I've used for years, especially when I was a chiller mechanic working, working up on roofs and working in hot environments and stuff like that during the summer. This thing's made my day a whole lot better in really, really hot climates. We've got it here for you from Gear Aid. It's the Gear Aid Fast Acting Cooling Tower right here. Take a look at it down here. The Fast Acting Cooling tower, stays cooler, longer, it's lightweight, odor resistant. This is really cool. So you, you activate this thing with water, 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 H2O. Everybody gives me crap about saying water. I like, I like, that's how I say water. It's like pen. It's a pen. No, it's a pen. So this is a pretty good size towel. It's 36 inches by 15 inches. And it's not, it's not a towel necessarily. I mean, you can use it to dry yourself off or whatever or clean or anything like that while you're in camp or you're out in the bush or, or whatever it is. But what you do is you wet this down with water and it doesn't have to be necessarily cold water. You, you wet this down real good, kind of wring it out a little bit. And they say in the instructions to you know, wring, you know, spin it around in the air and then you can like throw it over your neck, tuck it down in your shirt, what have you. And it, it creates a cooling action due to the, evap the, the way the water evaporates. Um, there's little holes in there. I don't know if you can see through that or not. I found that it works best when I snap it. I've used, I've used a, this for years. I'm telling you, it freaking works. It, it's really cool how well it works. As you kind of sweat or whatever, you kind of keeping it wet. Of course, it's getting a little bit salty or whatever from sweating, but even with some sweat, Take it off, snap it a few times, throw it back on there. And for what I've experienced is a little over an hour, it stays cool and it's nice cool on your neck. You can put it up over your head, however you want to do it. This thing's pretty freaking slick and it, and it works. It absolutely works. You can put your name on your tag right there. It comes with this little pouch right here that is ventilated. So if you put it in there and it's still a little bit wet, it's designed the material is, is not going to mold or, or do anything nasty like that on you. Of course, you need to clean this thing, guys. But you can go several days just cleaning it with regular water and using it, and it freaking works, and it's awesome. And trust me, uh, working in the southeast for 25 years 
in very, very hot environments. I probably used it this maybe half of that time, and I went through several of them over the years, but man, lifesaver. I kept this in my toolbox. Give it a shot. Of course, you can dry yourself off with this. It's not like super absorbent or anything like that, so um, don't expect it to be necessarily like a towel for washing or anything, but you can use it for that. But if you need to cool off your neck or cool off your head or whatever, when it's hot out, pour some water on it, wring it out, snap it a few times, wave it in the air, and it's like having an air condition on your neck. It's freaking awesome. So that is your third item in the basic box. So lastly, in the basic box, we've got something that, we've sent something similar to this, but it was nowhere near as nice as this years ago. This rascal right here is freaking sweet. Definitely something that you can add to your gear that's not gonna take up a terrible amount of space, and boy, can it come in handy. It is a folding shovel. Got the Humvee logo there and the tent and everything. Show you right here, portable shovel. So it says here, shovel features, blade is 22 by 15 and a half centimeters, 24 centimeters folded, unfolded is 58 and a half centimeters, 1050 carbon steel, heat treated, ergonomic nylon handle, nail puller, and sawtooth. This thing's really nice, it's from Campco. Open it up, you got a pouch right here for it. The pouch does have a loop here on the back so you can attach it to your gear and attach it to a belt or anything like that if, if, if you please. Um, open that dude up and that's what you, that's, there's your shovel right there. That's pretty dang small, right? Uh, and it's not a little dinky shovel, like it's a decent size blade on there. So you fold that dude open and you've got this collar right here that you turn to tighten it up. So we'll just let it hang right there and tighten it up. And there you go, really good handle on this. It's not just a single pole type handle. You can really get a good grip on this, two-handed if need be, really pry on it. You've got a nail puller here on the front right here. Got kind of sawtooth area right here. It's there, it's, it's not a, like you're not gonna cut a tree down with this, but small, small items, things like that, it'll work great for, but don't expect this thing to perform like a freaking silky saw or something like that. In a pinch, you can use it for that. But for a shovel, for what it's really designed for, ye freaking haul, man. You can get two hands on this thing. It's very strong and sturdy, great handle. You can, you can really dig with this thing. It's got a natural little bit of an angle to it. It's not just flat like some survival and folding shovels are where they're super flat and it just, it's weird when you're digging because it's, it's flat. Like you don't have that feeling of like you're scooping, but with this, it's got that angle to it and the handle's great on here. But you can also loosen this up and change your angle. So there's one, two, so you can do an angle like that, even more of a scoop. So you're really getting down, doing work. If you're making you like a, a dugout shelter or something like that, or digging a hole for a, you know, a fire pit or a Dakota fire hole or anything like that, great little shovel. But you continue on, you can angle it up even more. You really wanna swing down and dig into now you've got this angle right here. I don't know, that's a 30 degree angle, maybe. Really, really nice and strong. Like there's no slop in this whatsoever. And the collar locks down very, very well. And then to fold it back up, you just loosen that collar up real good. Fold your handle down like so. Boom. Back into your pouch. You're ready to rock. I'm turning it right way. Yep. So yeah, great, great shovel in the basic box. That's freaking awesome. I love it. Absolutely love it. It's a great shovel. So that's your basic box, folks. You got your titanium spork, biscuits and sausage gravy right here from Peak Refuel. You got your cooling tower from towel from Gear Aid, and then.
from Campco, the Humvee folding shovel right here. Awesome, awesome basic box. So now it's time for the advanced box. In the advanced box this month, we got a knife. It's a really cool little knife too. It's from Outdoor Element. It's called the Phoenix Feather right here. The Phoenix Feather from Outdoor Element. Outdoor Element makes freaking awesome stuff. So you can see here on the back, a small caping blade. D2 steel. It's got a quarter inch hex driver and a screwdriver tip on it. It's got a three inch blade and it's overall is about 6.2 inches long and it has a kydex sheath with it. It works really well. Got a little bit of footage of us using it in a hunting camp a couple weeks ago. It worked really good. So a caping blade, if you're wondering what a caping blade is, is processing game, processing animals or whatever. Outdoor ele element in the kydex sheath. Here's your Phoenix feather. Really cool little blade right here. And sharp, shwee, and it's got a very, very sharp tip right there. In a caping situation where you're removing the hide from the animal, you want to leave as much meat, obviously, on the animal versus on the hide as you can. Uh, so having a lot of control, a very sharp blade, and a blade that you can manipulate in different angles easily is, is key, right? So that's the point of a, of a caping type blade and the style and the size of this. You can hold this in your hand lightly, put your finger up here on top and really dial in and work taking the cape off very, very well. You can get into different angles really well. You're not holding a big knife where it's awkward if you're having to get into different angles and different positions. This knife is, is like a finesse knife especially if you're caping out an animal because you want to tan the hide or you want to get it mounted or something like that. You want to, you want to be delicate. You want, you want to do it right. You want to have a lot of control. This is a great blade right here. We used it to skin out um, a hog that a buddy of mine took a couple weeks ago. Worked wonderfully. But it could also be a very cool neck knife. So add you some paracord. It's a perfect size for a neck knife. Very light. Hence the reason why it's called the Phoenix Feather. That is your advanced box item. It's also got a clip on the sheath, so you can clip it on your belt, if you please, or clip it onto a pack. It's a great little knife, absolutely great. And in the advanced box, a straight up winner. Yo, so freaking sweet, man. You see, I put on here how much it weighs. So it weighs 1.4 ounces. Perfect neck knife. So that is your advanced box item from Outdoor Element. The Phoenix Feather. So next up, we've got the Pro Box. This item is freaking sweet. And it's an item that's been asked about and requested for a very long time. I love this item. I've used it a lot recently. I've used this company's products for years as an outdoorsman and hunting, hunting and, and shooting sports and things like that. They've always had great products. What's even cooler is, this is a limited edition series of this. What we have in the Pro Box, which I'm very excited to announce, is the Battle Box Limited Edition Razor Patriot Series Electronic Earmuffs from Walkers. I call them Walkers Game Ear. I don't think they carry the Walkers Game Ear um, you know, brand anymore. I think it's just Walkers now. But uh, they've been in business for years, and I've used a lot of their different products. This set of earmuffs is freaking sweet. Absolutely freaking sweet. I got mine here in the mystery spot and I'll show you guys. So let me show you the box first. Here's you can say, it's got, see it's got battle box here on the bottom. Razor Slim Electronic Earmuffs, Walker's Patriot Series. Here on the side, you can see a image of it, protect it or lose it. So looking here on the back, the overall features has high gain omnidirectional microphones, full dynamic range HD speakers for clear balance sound, low noise frequency tuned for natural sound clarity. The sound activated compression is 0 0.02 seconds of reaction time. What that's referring to is the, these, these headphones are, um, Earmuffs, you, they're electronic, you can turn them on, you can rate, you can hear what's going on around you. So what's great about that is when you're at the range and you're wanting to talk to your buddies and stuff like that and there's people that are shooting off in the distance or somewhere near you, you don't have to scream at them. You, you can carry on a normal conversation because it's amplifying their voice so that you can hear them and vice versa if they're wearing a set. But when the guy, you know, two stations down, fires off his 300 wind mag, it cuts that sound out, deadens it down, and it doesn't hurt your ears. So you're not having 
you're not having to worry about your hearing protection and you can still hear which is freaking great and it takes 0 0.02 seconds for it to react to a, a, a noise of a, a certain decibel level or higher it's got sound dampening composite housing recess volume control knob audio input jack so if you want to plug in some tunes or whatever so you you know riding on your lawnmower or whatever you want hearing protection you can plug your your phone into it and listen to music if you want to um, it's ultra compact collapsible it's powered by two AAA batteries which is included and it's got two patches along with it here's the uh, the headphones themselves are a little bit dirty these, these are mine that I've been using so here on the top strap you can see it's got the battle box logo right there which is really cool on one side we have kind of like the Punisher patch right here and you can take these on off, put your own patches on there if you want, obviously. And then on the other side here, I've got the American flag. As you can see, it's very compact. Will fit into most backpacks with absolutely no issue whatsoever. Fit into range bags, so you always got your headphones with you. You just pull these down, and they are fully adjustable. On this side here, you've got your on-off button, so you you spin that upwards it turns on and then you adjust your volume level from there here on the front you can see your microphones right here is your input jack for your audio if you want to plug in some audio very comfortable ear cups right here of course the speakers are behind there and and slim line they're not big earmuffs that stick out really wide which i hate and the reason why I hate them is I'm more of a rifle guy. I like shooting rifles. A lot of times I have to use earplugs, like the uh, moldable ones that, that we sent a couple boxes ago, because I can't get down on my rifle without headphones hitting the stock of my rifle, and it just it's aggravating, right? It's, just, it's a pain in the butt. These are real slim, so I can get down on a rifle, and it's not hitting the stock of the rifle. So. I really like these. If I have to wear earmuffs, they have to be slim like this, especially if I'm shooting a rifle, which is primarily what I shoot when I'm, when I'm shooting. Not much of a pistol guy. I like rifles. Excellent build quality. Comes with the batteries. It's custom battle box. It's, it's freaking awesome, and it's an awesome company. Walker's is an absolutely awesome company. They have all sorts of really cool products. And here's the thing. I grew up shooting without ear protection. I worked in loud environments without ear protection. Uh, I've done all sorts of stuff where I should have had ear protection and I'm paying for it now. Like I'm, I'm about deaf in my left ear uh, and my right ear is not great. Protect your ears uh, and this is a great way to do it. In a hunting situation, it, they're great because you can kind of amplify the surrounding ambient noise and you can hear a little bit better. It's kind of hard to tell direction sometimes, right? But you, you can hear better. And, and that's been somewhat of an advantage uh, for me. Awesome, awesome piece of kit right here. The custom Razor Slim Electronic Earmuffs from Walkers. It's freaking awesome. You're gonna love those, freaking great. It is time for the Pro Plus box. The Pro Plus box, knife of the month this month, is also from Outdoor Element, and it's called the Phoenix Talon. Phoenix Feather, Phoenix Talon. So here's your box for your Phoenix Talon from Outdoor Element. We'll flip it over to the back. Skinner Gut Survival Blade is what they're calling it. Again, D2 steel it has a replaceable gut hook on it, a 3.23 inch blade, area very deep belly on it right there removable g10 sca scales with inside storage space it's got an ever spark wheel extended tang hammer and a lanyard hole it also includes a sheath optional hardware for the phoenix feather taping knife so what does that mean it means these two bad boys right here can go together as a kit all in one kit with the sheaths which is freaking sweet so let's take a look at it here so with these two, if you're a Pro Plus subscriber, you obviously got the, the feather as well. So here we've got our little bits here. We've got uh, a spare gut hook blade. We got a screwdriver, um, a Phillips screwdriver, two set of screwdriver in there, some standoffs and some pins and stuff uh, for the sheath. We got silica gel, don't eat that. So here we go. There it is in the sheath. Show you right here. The Outdoor Element Phoenix Talon. 
very cool blade right here. So obviously we've got our Kydex sheath. We've got a little uh, sharpening area here on top with a very heavy duty clip here on the back. So let's open it up. Have a look at it here. Here's our gut hook. And as you can see, it's got two little screws right there holding it on. So when you need to replace that, if it gets dull, I mean, some animals have very tough hides. Uh, specifically like when we we were using this for was for a uh, for a wild hog very very tough tough hide and skin over time that gut hook can dull and they're kind of a pain in the butt to uh to sharpen you can sharpen them with a with a round file or a bastard file but this has got a replaceable gut hook op option so that's that's really cool razor sharp so here's our our blade right here it's got a nice belly to it which is great for cleaning cleaning out game got a hole right here so you can choke up on it if you want to you can stick your fingers through there it's got a really deep finger choil right here on the bottom as well good jimping on top we've got our g10 scales full tang obviously fits great in the hand it's nice and thick in the hand you want to have really good grip and control when you're getting into the, to the heavy work of cleaning cleaning an animal out so you got your phoenix feather here for you know, doing the caping and the real fine detail work. And you got this guy right here to get in and do the heavy work, the gutting, you know, cutting out big pieces of meat, things like that. Really, really cool. But you could also use this for survival situations. So here on the back, we got this little tab I got to pull out. So here on the back, we've got an EverSpark wheel. So you can use this to help start a fire if need be. So they got this extended tang area here where it's got your, uh, your lanyard hole and um, of course you know you can use this as, as a hammer if need be and then you can take the the, uh, the handle apart so we can take our phoenix feather here and take these screws loose and you can take your scales apart like so and it's got this cavity in here so you can put tender some fish hooks you know, some fishing line, whatever, whatever you want in there. You can cash stuff down in there and it's ready to rock when you need it. And you just put that dude back together. Tighten it back down with your feather and you're back to your knife scales all put back together. So really cool design and it, it kind of turns itself into a multi-tool of sorts, right? So you've got a way to start fire if need be. You've got a way to store some tender or store some things inside the handle. You got your gut hook. You got just, just a very controllable, very nice, comfortable in the hand blade right here for pretty much any, any need out in the wild, but definitely when it comes to processing an animal, uh, this is a great tool to have. These, uh, this bag right here that's got your extra gut hook blade and your uh, Phillips screwdriver. Phillips screwdriver is so that you can, you know, remove the gut hook blade. It is a quarter inch, so you can run it into your quarter inch here of your feather. So your feather kind of becomes the tool to be able to manipulate this. You can put them together all in one package, just like this right here. Uh, so that's what the rest of the parts in there are for. It's got standoffs. As you can see right here, we've got standoffs here. There's the screws, so I can have my feather and my talon all together right here, ready to go. I can still use my clip, so I can clip it onto my side while I'm processing or whatever, when I'm working, and I have easy access so that I don't have to set them on the ground when I'm done using them. I just put them right back into the sheath, and it's right there together when I need it again. So you can keep them separate, or you can mount them together using the hardware that came with the talon. That's pretty freaking cool. I think that's really cool. Awesome kit right here from Outdoor Element. The Phoenix Talon is your knife of the month for Mission 91. So that's Mission 91, a battle box, folks. Really great box this month. Kind of hit, hits a bunch of different areas and it's just, it gets me ready for fall, man. It gets, gets me ready for the last quarter of the year, baby. It's freaking great. So I'm gonna do a real quick recap. Up first, I'm going to do these two together from the same company. We got the Peak Refuel Biscuits and Sausage Gravy along with the Long Titanium Spork right there. Awesome combo right there. Of course, you can use the spork for virtually any eating task 
but it is great because it's designed to get down to the bottom of them there packs so you don't, you don't make a mess and get, get food all over your hands and have to dig in there with short, short sporks and forks and spoons. So really cool company right there. Check out their other meals. So far, I haven't had one that I didn't like. Really good, high quality meals right there. And then from Gear Aid, we've got this cooling tower right here. Again, I've used a product like this for many years. They work great and they really help out if you're in a really, really hot environment. And of course, if you got a little bit of access to some water, just soak that down, wring it out a little bit, give it a good couple snaps, throw it on your neck or wave it around in the air. Starts an evaporation process, which helps cool your skin. It literally feels like you, you, you got an air condition on your neck or over your head or, or whatever. It's freaking great. Absolutely great thing to have. And then from Camp Co, we've got this awesome Humvee branded uh, folding shovel right here. Freaking great. Absolutely. It's probably one of the best build qualities of a folding sho shovel that I've experienced. Uh, multiple angles. Very, very well built. The handle is very comfortable. It's good on the hands. It's, it's awesome, absolutely awesome. Folds up for, for the size of it unfolded. It's, it's pretty cool how it's, it folds up really small and can fit in that, in that little pack that it comes with. Excellent shovel, absolutely, absolutely awesome. You're gonna love it. Then down here up front, we've got the Phoenix Feather caping blade right here with Kydex sheath with clip. Awesome freaking knife right there. It works great for what it's designed to be used for, and that's a caping knife. Lots of, lots of control, it's light, lightweight. Will be an excellent neck knife if you want an everyday carry neck knife. That would be excellent for that as well. Really cool knife right there from an awesome company, Outdoor Element. Be sure to check them out for more products that are freaking ridiculous. They, they make a lot of really cool stuff. And then over here, we got the Walker's Razor, the limited edition battle box with two patches. We got the American flag patch and the Punisher patch there. Awesome, awesome set of earmuffs. Uh, the, the speakers work great. The microphones do really well. Um, you can enhance your hearing and protect your hearing all at the same time. You can plug in, you know, your phone or whatever, or, you know, if anybody's still using the little iPods or whatever, you can plug one of them jewels into that, have you some tunes while you're protecting your hearing, while you're mowing the grass or whatever it is that you're doing in a loud environment. But definitely when it comes to firearms, you know, shooting at the range or hunting, um, it, it drops that muzzle blast out and protects your ears. And I'm telling you, it works great because my rifle's got a muzzle brake on it and oh my God, your ears will be in pain for days after squeezing the trigger on that rifle. These right here, I can hear, I can talk, yada, 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 squeeze the trigger, it deadens it out, yeehaw freaking awesome and they look great too <laughs> and then last but not least we got the phoenix talon right here great outdoor survival knife and you know game processing knife you got a replaceable gut hook you can start fire with it you can cache survival supplies inside the uh the scales there very sharp blade works great works really good um, and you can couple it with your feather all together put the sheaths together with the hardware here that it comes with and have a complete system all in one grab right there, easily accessible on your hip if you're processing game or, or doing whatever it is you're doing where you, where you need a really good blade. This is a really cool knife right here and it even more cool, even more cooler, mo better, even mo better that you can marry it with the feather right there and have yourself a, a complete kit. It's awesome. They really thought that through, it's freaking great. So again, I'm gonna do another giveaway for the Mission 91 box. So in the comments down below, I want you to comment, I want Mission 91 of Battle Box. Single sentence, I want Mission 91 of Battle Box. And you can add whatever you want, but that's gotta be in the comment. And um, be sure to like the channel, hit the bell icon so you're notified of more videos. And I will pick a winner just before the Mission 92 vidget drop. So if you see Mission 92 is live, then you need to go to the Mission 91 video on the Battle Box YouTube channel and look at the very first comment that's pinned at the top of the comment section. That will be me announcing the winner. Do not respond to anybody else 
commenting on your comments saying that you won because they're hackers. They're, they're trying to steal your information or whatever the heck it is, steal your money, whatever. The contest is 100% free, minus you paying for the electricity or paying for the phone or whatever that you're typing on. It's not gonna cost you anything to have it shipped to you, nothing. It's a giveaway. I'm gonna give it away to you for nothing. So again, I will pick the winner, randomly pick the winner, I will make a new comment and pin it at the top of the comments announcing who the winner is. That simple, okay? So that being said, the Mission 91 video, you're watching. Go to the Mission 90 video and see pinned comment if, you, if, you're, if you're on there. If you are, you're a winner, you need, we need to get together. So as always, I appreciate each and every one of you guys for watching this here video. Hopefully you enjoyed the video and the items that were in Mission 91 of Battle Box. Um, if you will, please get in on the contest, comment down below, hit the bell icon, subscribe to the channel if you're not already a subscriber, share it with your friends. If you'd like to find out more about BattleBox, you can check out BattleBox.com, B-A-T-T-L-B-O-X.com. You can go to What's in the Box page. You can see every video and every item that's ever been in any mission to BattleBox from this mission all the way down to Mission 1 back in 2015. Whew. We're coming up on 100 missions, y'all. And 100, the 100 mission's gonna be freaking sweet. Let me tell you, we're, <laughs> we're ready for that one. So, uh, so yeah, I love y'all. I mean it. I'll see y'all on the next video. Oh yeah, and before I go, we got a lot of really cool t-shirts in stock at battlebox.com too. So go check out the link down below if you wanna check out our t-shirts. Yeah, pretty freaking sweet. And they're going fast, so I think my beard's not in the way. Uh, if you want a shirt, go down there and get you one. See y'all on the next video.